Let's do this. Anybody? Yeah, you know, uh, first of all, just uh, it's great to be back in the country. Um, of course, want to thank all the people that stood behind us. It's uh, amazing all the support we had. And, um, you know, we gave everything out there. Um, it was two points into the end, and uh, the guys really put their bodies online and really played for the country, and at the end, the best team won. So we don't have any excuses. No regrets, we couldn't go gone harder, we did everything we could. And uh, it's just great to see the reaction of the people when we came back, not just in South Africa, in uh, London as well, all South African people there. And at the end we play for them, I just want to thank them for their support. All right, this is a live press conference that's currently taking place now at the OR Tambo International Airport where the Springbok squad have just arrived back home. Uh, you heard there from the, uh, the Springbok coach, Henneke Meyer, saying no regrets, the best team won. Uh, they did everything they can in order to uh, uh, win the cup, but it wasn't to be so. Let's just hear from the coach once again. Wrong. And, um, you know, look at everything, probably take a day or two off start in a review process, uh, also busy with a uh, um, report. Um, so there's still a lot of work, a lot of things that be done behind the scenes. So it's almost like a week or two and then it's back to work as, as usual. And main thing is to reflect and uh, to see where we can go better. You mentioned in one of your interviews abroad that uh, over the last four years of your tenure, yeah, you may have made some mistakes that you wish to rectify. What are the, some of the things that if you do get an extension over the next four years. What are the things that you do differently? Yeah, you know, uh, you always learn from mistakes, but I think the main thing, and again, I don't want to put my foot in it, I think SRA Rugby is doing a great job. A lot of the franchises is uh, also helping and working, And uh, but I just feel if we want to be the best team in the world, we have to work together as a nation. I'll just give you one simple example. Uh, we have to look at, the, at our system at all levels, from school ball level up. Uh, it's not just, I believe, the national coach, although you take full responsibility. Just to give you a short example is that um, the All Blacks now have uh, been together for four years and more is the same team in management, or eight years, 12 years. And um, what's going to happen now is just, and there's not an excuse, it's looking into the future, but that's how it's going to play out. So they're going to go out there and um, probably have three to four weeks off. Then they're going to start with conditioning with their top players, and they're going to have three months to get that in, in place. And then the Super Rugby starts. 13 of our top 15 players that played in the last game is going to play rugby within the next week or at least in the next two weeks. Uh, may it be in Japan, where they're going to play in Europe, wherever. So all our guys are going to have one week rest at least after the most toughest year in, in world rugby probably. Then uh, they're going to go straight back into Super Rugby. And we're fighting. All right, unfortunately, having to cut into this press conference, but please, our reporter is there. She is listening to the, the press conference that's taking place right now. Our cameras are there as well, so we certainly will bring you everything that comes out of this press conference. But an exceptionally busy morning here in South Africa. Uh, we've also, just to update you, the Oscar Pistorius trial is set.